Hey everybody, welcome back. Leo Potzel, that's the channel. Thanks very much for tuning in. You know what it is guys, go ahead and subscribe right now. We almost hit 5,000 subscribers and thanks to you guys. I'm so happy that I've almost reached 5,000 subscribers as that was my goal a few months ago or actually a few years ago uh, and it's took me a long time to get me here. So first things first, thank you very much to all of you guys that have subscribed and been watching my videos, liking, commenting and sharing. I definitely appreciate it. You guys have helped the channel grow to what it is today. So today I just want to do a quick video. It's not going to really be quick. I'm actually lying. Um, it's probably going to drag on a little bit, but I want to give you guys an update on what's going on with the 125 gallon. This is my 125 built into the wall saltwater coral reef fish tank and you might have been following my channel already and you'll probably know that I've had a huge overdose and killed basically like 90% of my corals. If you've been following my channel, you definitely probably know what's been going on as I've been keeping you guys updated. Uh, we're pretty much around maybe two months give or take after the overdose. Uh, so I just want to do a recap. I've been slowly introducing some new fish to the tank. Um, I've slowly introduced some new corals to the tank. Um, I've actually taken some of the corals that were in my 35 gallon tank here onto the left that's all tied in one to, uh, as in one system. Uh, those corals weren't as affected as these corals were uh, with, for the overdose. So uh, those corals I kind of just left them in that tank and I slowly introduced one into the 125 gallon tank and saw how it did over the last few weeks and then I introduced another one and they look like they've been doing okay. So today I've actually purchased um, and brought home about 11 corals, 10 corals, give or take a dozen corals. Uh, they're all packaged up in a box behind the tank in bags. Um, I just got home pretty much. I wasn't really planning to do this video but I said why not, mine as well. Let's go ahead and give these guys an update on what's going on and take a closer peek on what's going on with my tank. Um, obviously the tank looks much different. Uh, not everything is fine and dandy as it may look or may not look. Um, it still looks okay to me. It's not definitely where it was. It took many years to get where I was uh, in my tank, but it's basically starting all over again, but I kind of started off on the wrong foot as I still had chemicals. It's kind of actually worse, I'm thinking, than starting off with a brand new tank because at least you know everything's kind of brand new and where you are. Uh, like I'm pretty much just recovering from an overdose and trying to save some corals and I've done so many water changes. It is what it is. I've done what I've done. Um, the tank's at the stage that it's at right now. My only concern, which I'm not really too concerned about, but my only issue that I'm kind of battling right now is some purple uh, red slime algae, you want to call it, people might know it as uh, like purple slime algae, uh, red slime algae, or cannulobacteria, uh, which is basically like a purple kind of slime that's over like your sand bed and your live rocks. Um, I've been manually siphoning that out with like a half inch hose when I'm doing like a water change. I specifically go in the area and start siphoning out those uh, spots that need to be cleaned up with that purple slime uh, algae. So that's basically my only concern right now and I'm assuming the issue with that is, is because when I, did the, when I had the overdose I had to think quick. I didn't have really uh, much uh, RO water prepared. I've done many gallons and gallons of water change over the overdose the last few uh, days of the overdose and continuing on and slowly kind of you know settling down now to do a water change every two weeks but uh, the reason why I think that that cannulobacteria is even there is because I've used a lot of tap water with the prime water conditioner when I did those water changes during the overdose so I'm assuming there's lots of phosphates and unwanted chemicals that are within the uh, the aquarium water that I'm putting in the tank because I basically got it directly from the tap, adjusting it to whatever uh, temperature you know that the tank water was at. I mixed up the salt, let it mixed up, and I did uh, a few gallons of water change, anywhere from 50 to 100 gallons, even 120 gallon water change. Don't forget, this is a 125 gallon tank. I have a 75 gallon sump down here, which is tied in as well as a 35 gallon uh, coral slash frag secondary tank. It's all tied in into one system, too, so I do have a large amount of water, approximately about 200 gallons, give or take. So guys, enough of the talking. Let's get started. I want to unpackage these corals. I'm going to put them inside the tank. I'm just going to get alchemating, um, taking them out of the pack, whatever. Um, 
I'm going to take you guys behind the fish room because that's pretty much where it's all going to be happening. I apologize in advance for all the, uh, the mess, but it is what it is. I have been definitely busy. You can tell here by my beard and my hair. It's kind of growing quite a bit. I'm definitely due for a little self-maintenance myself, but you know what? It's all good. I'm taking care of the tank. It is what it is. I'm busy with work and I'm just continuing doing what I love to do in the saltwater aquarium. Reef tank addiction, guys. If you guys haven't been watching those videos of the episodes, go ahead and watch those right now. Reef tank addiction season two is out. We're up to episode number five right now. I'm going to be loading episode number six um, uh, this following Sunday. And uh, that's pretty much it and just continue until all the episodes are done and then I have going to have another season coming up pretty much back to back with that featuring another gorgeous tank uh, that I went to go and interview. So what it is guys, uh, this is the tank, let me pull off the, uh, the camera here, off the stand, I'll bring you guys a little bit closer, there we go. So. Uh, Let's take a closer look at one of these anemones here that's left over from the uh, overdose. This one actually is uh, as a survivor from the overdose is doing okay. Pretty happy about that. He's looking quite quite good. Little mushroom there beside him. Um, where's another little? I want to show you some of this purple canyon bacteria here that I'm talking about. Purple slime algae here, just kind of covering this uh, live rock in certain areas. So I basically. Uh, Either got to increase a little bit more flow, which I don't think it's really that. I think it's just probably the phosphates inside the water. You can see this side here looks like it's more like red than purple. And then we got some purple spots. So, uh, yes, that definitely needs to take care of. I'm not really happy about that at all. It doesn't really look that good. But um, it is what it is. That's what I'm working on. I got to do another water change uh, probably after I acclimate these corals uh, later on tonight or even tomorrow. All these fish have pretty much survived the overdose. All of these guys are still alive. These are the ones I had before. I never really lost any fish. Um, you can see a few uh, new corals that I have here. We got some uh, Ganipora. Uh, might also uh, be known as like a flower pot or whatnot. Long tentacle here. It's doing quite nice and uh, thriving quite well in the tank. We have another large colony over here that's at least a good six to seven inches. Um, it wasn't this healthy when I picked it up when I first brought it home, but it is definitely doing a lot, lot better. Uh, a few other corals here as well. I like you doing that. Yeah? Yeah. I like you doing that. Uh, I wanted to show you actually this green Montipora here that actually survived the overdose. You can see that it's uh, stuck on here on the back glass and i um, pretty happy that uh, that green Monty survived. As you can tell all the other red Monty died uh, like all over the live rock, all over the uh, back wall, the side walls, all that was red Monty overflow box. Now it's just pretty much all dead coral. Um, I scraped off a little bit in some sections and kind of left the majority of it to be honest. I removed like a good hundred pounds of live rock approximately. It's sitting in the garage right now in a Rubbermaid. Um, That's okay. It's just I'm um, waiting for the weather to get a little bit better. I'm gonna get that dry, that live rock. I'm gonna dry it out in the sun and uh, I'm gonna probably introduce a few more pieces slowly back inside the tank. I'm kind of happy the way the tank is laid out with not that much live rock. It's quite a bit, uh, lots more room from what I previously had. So I like the, the, the look of that, of the lot more room, the aquascaping of the tank. It's actually not the way I, I didn't even really uh, spend too much time kind of doing it. I actually, like I said, I was fighting this uh, cannula bacteria, so I had to move quite a, some of the rocks and, def and definitely try to clean off the sand bed as, as the rocks were kind of hiding the, the purple slime algae on the sand bed and I kind of just had to move things around. So I slowly just kind of put some corals in. I have a few, uh, some more space here on this rock that I can put, some on the sand bed, maybe a few more on top of here. Um, couple more spots here that I'm going to put some coral on. That's why I could use some more, a little bit more live rock so I can mount some of these corals on. So guys, you know what? I guess this is already a 10 minute video as is, raw, no edit. So I'm just going to probably post this as is. And if you want to watch part two, um, hopefully I can load that. 
I can load that ASAP and you guys can take a look at that because I'm going to go here in the back here. I might as well just take you right now to conclude this video. Say what's up, Juliana. What's up? Say what's up. Leo Pazzo. Leo Pazzo. Reef Tank Addiction. Today's my birthday. No, it was yesterday and Saturday is going to be your party. Yeah, because Saturday was my actual birthday and it was today my other birthday. Today is your other birthday? Yeah. Okay. That's good. I'm glad you have a couple of birthdays. So here's a 35 gallon guys. Not really too many corals left in here. I pretty much just kind of removed them and put them in the, uh, the 125. So that's pretty much all tied in to my 125 system. Yeah. Just some uh, par 38 yes. LEDs. Here's the 125 built into the wall. Here's the back of the tank. Juliana, daddy's talking one second, making quick video, okay? So here's the quick sump, I'll just show you guys the sump, bang bang, 75 gallon. Here's the box of corals, guys, that I just brought home. Let me turn on this flash here, see what's going on. So here's a bunch of corals. We got, uh, I think this is like another green Ganipora right here. We got assorted a bunch of corals, guys. Look at this uh, red rose bubble tip anemone, very nice color. I had to pick that up, even though I have one or two. And uh, what else here? We got some Zoas up in this bad boy in this bag. So we got a sorted um, uh, amount of corals here. I just handpicked them all. I'm going to introduce these guys. Some of them, I guess, in the uh, 125. Some of them I'll be putting in probably the 35. And uh, we'll go from there. Yes. Okay, I'll get you milk, no problem. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to acclimate these, uh, these corals into this Rubbermaid container. There's the sump again. Uh, just got my uh, quarter inch line here that I'm going to start sucking out some of the water, start siphoning it into here and I'm going to get these coral bags, start cutting them with a knife and put them in here and uh, I guess just let them acclimate for a good uh, half hour to an hour and uh, start placing them in the tank. So that's pretty much a wrap. Thanks very much for watching guys. I guess this is pretty much part one. Yes it is. This it is, uh, part one yeah. of the update of the overdose, yeah, Leo Pozzo, and that's the fishes guys. Thanks very yeah. much for watching, Leo Pozzo, Reef Tank Addiction, and uh, we'll see you guys yeah. soon.